Hey guys, and what is up? In this video, we are doing the Deadly Nada vs. the Egg Buddy. Now, guys, it would be so great if you guys could leave a like on this video if you guys do enjoy these. Um, now, this is a bracket so far, and I will show the actual bracket at the end of the video. But first, let's get into the actual video. Now, I did some changes. Um, advantages and disadvantages is the first thing. Number two, this is what I changed, speed, uh, speed, agility, and more. The reason I put and more in is because I do stamina, intelligence, and a whole bunch of other stuff in, like, look, in this thing. It isn't just speed and agility, so I wanted you guys to know that I do add in stamina and intelligence to the dragons, and three, overall power. So first... The Deadly Natter is one of the well-known dragons. This is, if you don't know, this is, um, Astrid's dragon. Now, guys, this dragon has one of the hottest fires in the whole How to Train Your Dragon series. It is very good. Its spine shot definitely is always very accurate. When it does come to that. Now. It has the spine shot and the single spine shot. Now the spine shot is one of the well known attacks. And the venom. Now guys. A deadly nat of spikes. Have never been confirmed how poisonous they can get. And what the exacts, uh, exact effects are. It is it also shows that from the dragon eye, that their sharp teeth are poisonous as well. So if you get bit by one of them also, you're poisoned. So this is... Stormfly, again, has proven for their kind to be able to use their tail to grip on Vikings as it's strong enough to hold the weight of a dragon hunter. Now, that's basically it. There's so much things I could say, like, there's so much speed and agility and everything. Again, their senses, real quick, um, they have good senses. They can, like, sense a lot, a lot of stuff. In terms of behavior, the deadly natter is very fast and dangerous, though it, it's potency, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it, as a hunter is hindered by the blind spot directly above its nose. As a result to the dragon relies on its keen sense of smell and hearing. So that is a bit of a disadvantage, but here, oh, whoops, went past it. 4.5 out of five. Now the egg biter, if you guys do wonder, this isn't the actual picture of the egg biter. This is when it's like a Titan wing. A Titan Egg Biter. So guys, I just wanted to put that out there. So you don't think this picture is like, not even the Egg Biter. This is, but it's just like, in Titan wing form. So guys, the Egg Biter is one of a new dragons that I've seen. So, its weaknesses is, it would be assumed that their eggs don't explode because otherwise... Vikings wouldn't be around them, unlike other dragon eggs, so the eggs would be vulnerable to attack or for other dragons to eat them. That isn't really a weakness in this case because this is a 1v1. But their jaw strength is insane. Since the moment they hatch, egg biters have a strong, vicious bite. They bite everything, including Vikings, the moment they hatch. So, they don't really, they have a strong bite. That's basically the only thing they can do, and they can, I'm pretty sure, hit with their tail. But that's basically it. Their bite is super strong, and if it bites, then that could be the end of you. But will it really get that close to the natter? 3.5, 3 out of 5. No, I don't think it would get... To that close to the natter and attacks and everything, unless, unless it turns out to be 
their speed and agility and intelligence is really high. So let's look at that. But let's first look at the Natters. Now the Natter actually had, had, is one of the smartest dragons out of the whole series. It is in the tracker class, guys. Um, and they have a good sense of smell and what I explained before. And they have one of the hottest fires. So, they are very, 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 they have so much stamina, is what I'm trying to say, and agility. Deadly Natters are fast of both on land and in the air. Astrid Dragon and Stormfly rivaled Toothless in speed. Astrid discovered that when put on a diet of chicken, the Natter's speed increases greatly. They are also quite agile and well ba balanced, as Stormfly demonstrated in the trick contest. In, in the first movie, in the arena, they are shown by Stormfly to run faster than most dragons on land, such as the Scaldron, with Changeling, and Whispering Death. So that is it, basically, for their... Oh, hold on, hold on. Their endurance and stamina are high. These dragons can run and fly for long distances. In the first film, a was able to be... was able to be... To take on an attack from Stoic the Vast when he threw a heavy object at its body. It was still able to fly afterwards. So for those reasons, it deserves a 4.5 out of 5. Now the Egg Biter, this is a baby Egg Biter, by the way, guys. Now the Egg Biter, it has the strong bite, as I said before. But its stamina is solid. Now, it is in the picture that I'm looking at right now of it. It really is big and stocky. Here, here's its features real quick. Spikes at the back of its head, stocky built, and striped tail. Now, this is, it's a big dragon as you can see by the picture. Like, it looks like the picture you're seeing right now, but a lot bigger. But guys... As its name suggests, and as it was seen in the live show, the egg biters bites the first thing when it comes out, which in one case happened to be Snotlout's head. In the rise of Buck, it is also mentioned that egg biters bite the first thing they see when they hatch. However, due to its easy, eager personality, sometimes it happens for the baby to bite itself inside the egg as it was the case of Nipper. Now its stamina isn't too high, it's like a normal stamina. Its speed isn't too high, it's basically like normal. So for those reasons, it does, does deserve a 4.5 out of 5 though, guys. Because it really, from the, it doesn't say much about it, but I definitely do think for uh, it to just have a strong bite, it really does have a solid stamina. So, the Natter for overall power. We know that it is one of the most powerful dragons. And because of its venom and tail and the spine shot and the single spine shot, that it has an incredible sense of spell, smell also and enhanced speed. So, it is actually very good its attack is 10, speed 8, armor 16, 5 power, 18, shot limit 6, venom 16, jaw strength 5, and stealth 10. So, it really is a great and powerful dragon. The Deathly Natter also has at its disposal a tail that is covered in bristling poisonous spikes. Of course, you guys have seen before, which are used as projectiles to stun or mobilize its prey. Now, due to the aforementioned blind spot, it can launch its tail spikes with a devastating speed and accuracy. It rarely misses. 
This has been shown by Snotlout when he exchanged dragons with Astrid. Snotlout placed a hand on Stormfly's front neck just behind the frill. The reaction caused her to fire a single spine shot that had so great accuracy to even slice another spine through the middle. Now, for those reasons, it deserves a 5 out of 5 for overall power. Sorry guys, I keep going past it for some odd reason. But guys, now the Egg Biter. This is also a picture of the Exotic Egg Biter, by the way guys. So yeah, just pointing that out. But guys, as you can see, the Egg Biter does have solid speed, solid it has a super strong bite, and it's just a... I personally love the name Egg Biter. Um, but yeah, it's... As I explained it, the dragon is... Has good stamina, its speed is pretty good, its stealth is pretty good, and everything is just pretty good. Um, so for those, I mean, for those reasons, I explained basically the whole Egg Biter in those two... Um, categories, so for those reasons, it deserves a 4.5 out of 5. So the winner for this round is the Nada Beats the Egg Butter. Now, real quick, guys, here is the actual bracket. Now, as you can see, guys, I hope... See, that's Hideous Zippleback, that's Sandwraith, that's Whispering Death, Razor Whip, Flame Whipper... No guys, real quick, as you can see, H G S T N F. H G stands for Hobble Gun. That's super hard to see. I might make like it a lot clearer and try and lighten it up, so I'll be right back. So guys, this is the best I could do. I actually tried re-recording it and use my new flashlight to actually lighten it up. And it I couldn't do anything else. All I could do was what I did this we recorded it or just kept it like it was before so i do hope it is better so guys real quick i'm pausing the video because it says Um, Gronkle vs. Gron Gronsicle. Now, as you can see right there, um, it actually does say Gronkle moves on to the next round. And then HG. What is the HG right there? Now, guys, Hobble Gun. As you can see, Hot Purple vs. the Hobble Gun. And the Hobble Gun actually won, so I'm usually using its, like, definitions or whatever you call it. And put the HG there to stand for Hobble Gun. So, guys... That's, I just wanted to tell you guys that. So then, Shiver Tooth, ST, Night Fury, and F. Then the new addition, the Natter. So if it's hard to see, the light was just like right there. And Monstrous Nightmare is actually right there, but it's the Catastrophic Quaking for the next video. Now guys, I am putting it up in the right hand corner, upper right hand corner, and putting a poll Catastrophic Quaking. Or the monstrous nightmare. You guys can vote who is actually who do you think will win. So this is when it got a little awkward. Shock jar vs. Hacker 2, Luminous Craven vs. Flightmare. That's smoothing smoke breath. For some reason it's just super laggy. I think that's like the main reason why it is a lot weirder. So um T S stands for triple strike by the way. And a snapple thing, and then it was just really awkward to do this. And I got my like laptop in the background and everything. So, anyway, guys, like, comment, and subscribe again. Right hand, upper right hand corner is where the poll will be for you guys to vote. Here it is a little bit better now. Speed Steel, Stinger vs. Shovel Helm, Slicker Fire vs. Tight Glider. I should have probably just did it a little bit like as you can see, my light. My, like, blue light, that's my flashlight. And so, yeah, guys, you can kind of see it a little bit better. 
except the top ones. So guys, yeah, I will finally do it, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys. I will try and get the top half and the bottom half both in, so I hope you enjoyed. This is the best I could do, so yeah, guys. So guys, here is the top of the back. This is, again, the best I could do. Um, I can't really do anything else. So, guys, as you can see, I did point the flashlight at it. Uh, Rumble's one vs. Threadtail. This is on the top right-hand side. Rumble's one vs. Threadtail. Stormcutter vs. Thunderclaw. Grapple Grounder, I believe that is. Here, let me just look at the bracket. Yes, Grapple Grounder vs. Timberjack. Hacker 2 vs. Shockjaw. Luminous Craven vs. Flightmare. Sweet Death vs. Sword Stealer. Wooly Howl vs. Smothering Smoke Breath, Cavern Crasher vs. Wind Walker. Now you can basically see it on this side where my cursor is at. The top left hand side, Hideous Zippleback vs. Sandwraith, Whispering Death vs. Razor Whip, Flame Whipper vs. Rain Cutter, Sea Shocker vs. Scaldron, or 1v1 guys. Snow Wraith vs. Pickle Boggle, Death Song vs. Thunder Drum, Summer Ripper vs. Shellfire. Devilish Dervish vs. Armor Wing. So hopefully you guys did hear all of that. Um, so you can basically see everything on the left hand side. Right hand side, some things are hard to see so I just said it all. So guys, that is it for the top right hand side and left. Here is the bottom part of the bracket guys. So the bottom part of the bracket is now here. So guys, this is the bottom side of the bracket, guys. Now guys, uh, as you can see on the bottom left-hand side, Speed Sting Stinger vs. Shovel Helm, Flicker 5 vs. Tide Glider, Gonkle vs. Gonsicle, the Gonkle won, so I put Gonkle past that, that does say Gonkle, guys. Hoppable vs. Hobblegon, Hobblegon won, so I put HG, the definition of it, I'm pretty sure that's how you'd say it, or whatever. Uh, the Anition, an initials or whatever. Uh, Shiver Tooth vs. Gobsucker, SD stands for Shiver Tooth, and Night Fury vs. Changeling. Night Fury ended up winning, so NF for Night Fury. Nada, I just put Nada because it fit. So, Deadly Nada vs. Egg Biter, the Nada one, so that's now there. So, then there's the Monstrous Nightmare vs. Catastrophic Quake, and that's Village Bone, so, yeah. Then for the bottom right-hand side, it is the Madraker vs. the Wind Nasher, Screaming Death vs. Thunderpede, Firewarm vs. Singetail, I'm hyped for that one, Silver Phantom vs. Slither Song, Skrill vs. the Snap Trapper, uh, TS stands for Triple Strike, I forgot to put that in, I don't know how, vs. Fire Terror, Triple Strike, I don't even have to do that video, but I will. Um, <laughs> Navel Thing vs. Snivel Hunch, Thorn Ridge vs. Bone Napper. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Anyways, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Video. <laughs> anyway guys, see ya.